Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the American Icarus channel. Here on this channel we talk about cryptocurrency and occasionally other things and today we're going to talk about the Conflux Network. So what is Conflux? Why are they such a big thing if not that many people at this point have heard about them? Conflux is doing things the way I think things are going to be done in the future with regards to big blockchain endeavors. So you had the original blockchain, which was Bitcoin, and basically it's created by an anonymous person, Satoshi Nakamoto. They released the white paper, they released the instructions on mining, and then you had to have people begin mining Bitcoin. A community had to form, and then over the course of time, it went from that strange small beginning to where it is today, okay? And then along the way, you started having other types of cryptocurrencies come about through the ICO process. This is where a team would get together and they would get some investment partners and generate a lot of income by releasing their token, not in a mine fashion, but making the tokens all up front and then selling them for funding to then, then develop that blockchain. Of course, we had the big ICO spike in 2017 and then the ICO crash. And then things have been kind of trading sideways along to where we are today, which is a lot of good in the market, a lot of bad, a lot of change. So Conflux is a different type of blockchain project. They are not doing things the traditional ICO manner. In fact, they are a well-organized business team, including some of the brightest and best blockchain minds on the planet, also aligning with some really great strategic business and government partnerships and they are building the foundation of what is going to be an incredible business model that also just so happens to have a, have a leading cutting edge blockchain to work with. And on top of that blockchain, they're gonna have their native token, the CFX token, which is a mined token like Bitcoin. And you can actually start mining this token today if you wanted to. All you have to do is go to the Discord channel, look up their mining section and get going on that. But that token is being distributed across the world right now through kind of more traditional business marketing methods and they are building out an ecosystem so that when this mainnet launches on october 29th they are going to have instant community as well as developers already working on the network dApps in place so that their decentralized ecosystem can get off the ground running so let's take a look at the recent big news, which is Conflux is officially announcing the launch of their mainnet on October 29th. So this mainnet launch has been a two work plan in the making. It all started two years ago with the phase one Pontus period. In this period, the Conflux decentralized finance solution was designed and launched. The Conflux Network is a high-performance proof-of-work public protocol and by nature, one of the most suitable ground layer solutions for a DeFi ecosystem. And in order to push the development of the De DeFi ecosystem, in this phase, the technical team developed a cross-chain protocol called Shuttleflow. This cross-chain protocol provides the users with a secure, efficient, and convenient way to bridge their assets across various chains. In addition to Shuttleflow, they built Boomflow, Boomflow features instant exchange contracts on a high frequency matching engine to ensure smooth and highly efficient operations and services based on decentralized exchanges built on the Conflux network. And Moondex, developed and presented by the Crosschain Alliance member Datbirds, was the first DEX built on the Conflux network. Once this phase was complete, they moved on to phase two Oceanus, where they worked on the proof of work algorithm. During this phase, they attracted miners from all over blockchain communities and began mining out the FC token. The FC token will eventually be the CFX Conflux Network token and will be the governance token for the protocol. So when Conflux becomes a big successful network, this token is gonna to be highly coveted because it will give people a say in the direction of the protocol. And then the team was able to successfully move on to the third phase, Tethys. This phase will be the final and fully functional mainnet of the Conflux network. In this phase, the swap between FC and CFX will officially start. Conflux Shuttleflow will open up applications from this point onwards. 
The Conflux Foundation will also have an ecosystem development plan in place to facilitate an extensive ecosystem. This ecosystem development plan is one of the big things that caught my eye and drew me to this project because I've been following cryptocurrency for a long time and not a lot of blockchain projects have a huge endowment from strategic government and business partnerships to attract and incentivize developers to come and build out their ecosystem. And it's already happening. So guys, we are so excited for October 29th to see the mainnet come to fruition. So now that we know that this mainnet is launching on the 29th, what can we expect? Well, to me, when I think about Conflux, I always think cross-chain. So what are cross-chain assets? At Conflux Network, we believe that creating native protocols that create seamless asset exchange between different networks is crucial to the long-term success of not only our native dApps, but for the entire ecosystem of cryptocurrencies. Through implementing our cross-chain asset protocol, Shuttleflow, we envision a permissionless system where liquidity ranging from high-cap coins like Bitcoin to low cap tokens like NFTs can flow freely among the sea of blockchains. One way of thinking about this is thinking about a wrapped token, an asset hosted on a blockchain with a price that is pegged to another underlying asset. We all, we've all heard of wrapped Bitcoin, wrapped ETH, programs like REN protocol and stuff like that, where assets can be traded and used on layer two networks without the cumbersome exchange fees and inefficiencies that are found on the layer one protocol. There's tremendous value in cross-chain assets. The simplified minting and burning of wrapped assets in the modern blockchain ecosystem have introduced three key value adds to blockchain networks and their developers and users. Increased liquidity, open collaboration, and the diversification of collateral. So guys, using the Shuttleflow cross-chain asset protocol, users are soon going to be able to wrap any asset of their choosing in a decentralized fashion on the Conflux blockchain by simply providing a token address. With the protocol in place, the DeFi ecosystem can operate freely without having to be restricted by the tokens offered on the blockchain. In fact, there's already a project out there implementing Shuttleflow, MoonSwap. MoonSwap is a gas-free automated market maker operating across the Conflux network and the Ethereum blockchains. MoonSwap recently completed their migration and currently offer over 10 million plus of total locked value in Conflux cross-chain assets such as Ethereum, Link, Compound, and others. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at MoonSwap. Okay guys, so here we are with the MoonSwap app. Moonswap's a great project. So they recently migrated over $10 million worth of Ethereum assets from the Ethereum blockchain over to Conflux. It was really cool. It was scary. I had a lot of capital in that. So full disclosure, I am an investor. And to let my assets get transferred from the Ethereum network that I love in my MetaMask wallet over to the Conflux portal, I'm not going to lie, it was scary. But the dev team did some amazing work. The shuttle flow technology worked perfectly and I lost none of my assets. Now I trade over here on the MoonSwap decks with zero gas. And because of that zero gas, I do the yield farming here on the MoonSwap app. I stake Ethereum and the Moon token and I earn Moon. And with zero gas, I'm able to restake my yield earnings multiple times a day and really accumulate my yield and get that compound math going. So let's take a look at the decks on this app real quick. And I'm gonna show you the true power of zero gas. So here's the exchange on MoonSwap guys. And here on the exchange, we trade Ethereum assets at, at zero gas. And right now you can look here, these are all the Ethereum assets currently available and there's gonna be more to come. So I'm gonna show you what it means to be able to swap tokens with zero gas. So for this example, I'm going to convert some Moon tokens into Ethereum. And I want you to keep in mind that the current price of a moon token is about 50 cents, okay? So we're looking at a balance of 0.25 moon tokens, all right? That is a quarter of 50 cents. So let's just say, because I'm not a human calculator, let's just say that's 15 cents, all right? So this is 15 cents of moon. I'm gonna transfer 0.2 moon tokens into Ethereum, okay? I'm gonna do that. Confirm the swap. I confirm it in my Conflux wallet. 
and that quickly, it's done. So I've just converted 20 cents of moon into Ethereum. Can you imagine doing that on Uniswap with the gas prices? You can't trade anything unless it's at least 20 bucks or you're gonna lose half of what you're trading, right? So this is just an example of some of the incredible things you can do layer two on Conflux on the Moonswap app. Absolutely free guys, no transaction cost at all. It's changing the game and every single day, total locked liquidity on Moonswap. I suggest getting in now while the getting is good before this thing really blows up. So guys, back to Conflux. I mentioned they had a great team. I'm just gonna scroll down real quick and show you this leadership chart. And you can see there are some real heavy hitters here. This is a big team. They're well-funded. And as we know from sports, every great team needs a great mascot. And I want you guys to look at your screens real quick. This is their mascot, Clyde, this little blue guy. He is the cutest mascot ever, and I think he's gonna be a huge hit. And really, having a great mascot's important. You can see here they're coming out with a line of potential NFTs even for Clyde here. It's a little teaser, it's not out yet, I'm not sure, but Clyde's gonna be a real big deal. Okay guys, so if you're still watching the video at this point, I'm going to assume you were kind of interested in Conflux, and you can see exactly why I'm so excited about it. Mark it on your calendars. October 29th, mainnet launch. You're gonna start seeing that CFX token everywhere. It's gonna shoot up in value. Guys, if you can, get your FC tokens right now while they're still affordable. And if you want more information on Conflux, Moonswap, or other cryptocurrencies that I cover, and you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like the video, and guys, I hope to see you on the next one. Take care and have a great weekend. American Icarus out.